right, so that should be coming, that, I think that is now coming from this microphone. Is the hissing sound better? Is the hissing sound better? I think the, the laptop mic is actually not that bad when the fans aren't on full, but the fans are going to be on full this whole time. <sighs> How are we doing now? I'll, I'll wait for the delay. Um, pretty apron? Oh, thank you. We need some WoW kitchen towels. Do you guys know where I can get some WoW kitchen towels? Because I'll do it. I mean, the rest of my house is all WoW. Sound is better. There you go. That's better. Okay. All right, so we'll use that one. I will try and remember to move it when I turn on mixers. Sorry about that, guys. I really, like, I would to I would use the other mic, except I, did, I would just, it means I have to use the other camera until I get a better PC. And the hard thing is I really badly want to redo that other PC because I can't record in 4K. It plays WoW in 4K beautifully, but I can't record in 4K. I can't even record in 2140. Um, which I thought I could, but it's been dropping frames pretty badly. And no matter what settings I try and what encoders I try, it just, it won't do it. It'll either drop frames or have really poor quality. So I'm dying to redo that one so that I can make the higher resolution videos because ever since I turn, ever since I got 4K monitors, I've turned into a real resolution snob and I just, I see the 1080 and I know it looks fine and I've been making videos like that for years and it's fine. It's not fine anymore. It's hard. I see it and it's pretty and then I and then I put it out and it's it's only okay. Okay, so I need to throw a stick of butter in there. Um, probably like chop it up a little bit. Throw a stick of butter in there. Uh, process it until it's in quite small pieces but not like super obliterated. And then we're gonna put it into a bowl and we're gonna work in three to four tablespoons of cold milk using a spoon. So here's the bowl. That's not big enough. I need a stick of butter, and I'm going to need some milk here. Milk, and then I should have butter right here for days. I keep buying butter because I just lose it in my fridge. My fridge is not dirty, but it is messy. <laughs> okay, so now that this is, I'm going to I'm going to move through this part pretty quickly while completely ignoring you guys because uh, the butter needs to be as cold as possible for this to turn out. Well, we really want to avoid letting this warm up any more than absolutely necessary. So I'm going to just like press this into like quarters and we just dump it into here. This may not be the best way to do it, but it's the best way that's worked for me. Turn this on. Sorry. get a proper desktop for the kitchen streams in here is I can have multiple cameras. You know, I have all these extra webcams in my life and I would be able to use them to give you guys a closer view of what exactly I'm ruining on any given bacon stream. So one, two, three. The short version of it is that I would, I'm dying to do my computer and I have the money. I've been saving up Patreon money. I can do it. It's just such a bad time. It's such a bad time to do a PC. If I can just wait until like summer or like early fall, there's gonna be new graphics cards, there's gonna be new processors. Oh, hard. But I don't know how many more baking streams I can handle doing like this. It's, it, it hurts me. It's upsetting. All right, what is a meme? Uh, I mean, originally they started off as images with very short jokes on them, but I think now a meme is any kind of internet joke. Really, almost any of them. Uh, hissing stopped. Buzz went down many octaves. Dye hair blue and gold go full alliance. I could see doing blue at some point. Blue and gold. I've never, like, how, how, what does gold hair look like? Doesn't it just look like kind of orange? Or just blonde? <laughs> Wouldn't I just be blue and blonde at that point? Uh, well, I can't even wear the mic that you used to do. Um, she's done it more than ten times. It, yeah, it's because it's because um, I can't use it at the same time as this camera, just because of the way the port situation fills out on the laptop. The camera covers the mic port. Um, the camera does not work with a USB extension, and there's no other way to connect that mic. Never use milk in a pie crust. Um, you should only use ice water for a flaky crust. I've done this every single time, and I've always enjoyed it. I don't know, but never. <laughs> 
probably not recommend it, but it's always been pretty good for me. I might want another tablespoon here. Uh, we can make it through one baking stream with okay audio. Well, that's the problem is I don't have a better, like, we can go back to the old camera and the old mic, or we have this. I don't, I don't have anything better until I fix the computer, really. I, I've kind of run out of ideas for other stuff to do, because the, the real bottleneck here is the laptop. And I could buy a cheaper computer just for this, but that, like, it's going to be so redundant when I'm redoing that one within the year. I could just suck it up and spend the money for a new PC, like, now, and then upgrade it whenever it needs to be upgraded, but it's a lot of money. It's going to be about $5,000 to get one that I am confident can not only do the 4K 60 FPS with everything I need to and run After Effects really smoothly, but continue to do so for a while. And, uh, all right, so that's kind of turned into some, some dough pretty close. I'm going to wrap that up and stick it into the fridge. And then once we've done that, we can kind of evaluate what's going on with the rest of the recipe. Because I think our next step is still rolling this out, but I think it's going to take me way longer to make the filling. I could do blue with bleached blonde underneath. Oh man. Uh, I don't know how blonde I ever want to go. I don't think I like myself with light hair. And whenever I've been bleaching it to do my coloring, I've been bleaching it very gently to almost an orange color because these purples that I've been going to are dark enough that that's okay. It doesn't really distort the purple that I'm going for. So I've been able to be gentler in my hair that way. All right, so that dope goes in the fridge. Let me forget where I put that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the old setup is fine, just use the old camera. I made a demon warlock and his name is Shaman. Like, like a shaman? Like, is, is he a troll? You, you, get, you get a lot of mods going with trolls. Alright, so, in the recipe, I guess I should, uh, we can clean these things. So what we're going to do after this, after we get the uh, thing, we need to, oh, I need to thaw some cherries. How do I thaw frozen fruit? I have the cherries in my freezer. They're frozen. How do I thaw them? Do I put them in a bowl in hot water, like in their bag? That seems like a reasonable idea. What else? What, what, what else can I do? Um, you had to strip color out of your hair recently. Clarifying shampoo with crushed vitamin C tablets worked without destroying my hair the way bleach does. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, dark blue pink, the dark purple suited you. I want to, so when I redo it next time, I want to take the purple color I did first and then the pink color I did second. Dilute them both down with some, um, uh, not conditioner, but like the actual stuff that they recommend that you use to make the color a little bit less loud. Put the purple on the top and like the violet on the bottom. Like I really, I've been trying this whole time to get a gradient effect and I haven't done it yet. So I want to really commit. Finally made a stream, yay pie. You can put them in hot water, not in water, run some cold water over them. They should dethaw pretty quick. Hot water, LMAO. Well, be, be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for help here. Put the cherries in a bag of lukewarm water. I see you and I thought the name was a great joke. Uh, do you ever plan to dye your hair to a more natural color? Not for a while, probably eventually. Whenever, whenever I decide I don't want it to be loud anymore, but I'm pretty happy like this. Always cold water, hot will draw out the flavor. Well, where, where does it go? <laughs> Don't use hot water unless you want mush. I mean, I do want mush eventually. I'm making cherry pie here. I guess you still want the cherries to be kind of intact. Okay, so the consensus I'm getting is bowl, water, not hot water, medium water. Cold water. Cold water. All right. Well, let me, let me clean this up a little bit first. We got some time here. We got some time. Okay. Uh, empty my dish rack a little bit. What have you guys been up to? Baking day, happy Thursday, Hazel. Hi, hey, Doug, how you been? Oh, man. I've been wanting to bake something all week, and I just haven't had time. I feel like I have two modes lately. I have the being disciplined and sitting down and doing work mode, and then I have the completely giving up and laying completely still and doing nothing mode, and I haven't really had a moment in between. It's either one or the other. Uh, baking doesn't fit in those categories. Uh, watching Overwatch does. 
keep it in the bag, put the strainer under cold running water. Uh, lukewarm should be good enough unless they're like a solid cherry brick of ice nonsense. Yeah, they, I got them from the store, so we're, we're going to find out exactly how nonsense they are. Because of the, the building and assembly that I was doing yesterday, I had this mountain of cardboard in my apartment. And, uh, and um, we, have, we have recycling bins, so I was taking stuff down to them, but we're up quite a few flights of stairs. And uh, I, was, I was going up and down and up and down and up and down. Like, I think it was like five or six trips to get everything recycled. My legs are feeling it today. Uh, where did you get the apron, though? Apron is from Etsy. Uh, the Etsy shop was called Printing and Crafting, um, and they have they have hoard ones as well, of course. It would be really cool at BlizzCon if they had a baking booth. They should do that with chefs and guests baking random stuff during the show. I feel like, I mean, it would be fun, but getting the logistics of getting a functional kitchen on the convention floor without making it incredibly hazardous, probably not going to happen. Also, it would be very warm. <laughs> It would be, it'd be very sweaty in front of a lot of people. That would be kind of unfortunate. Okay, so that's that. Let's get this cleaned up. Do, 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 do. Strap on my, my trusty, trusty gloves. People always laugh at me when they come in and they see them wearing gloves. Okay, so the carpet thing yesterday, the reason why the stream is a day late, we got this notice. We've had these a lot lately of, you know, somebody is going to enter your apartment. And of course, the reason we had them before was because there was maintenance being done in our bathroom because of a water leak. And finally, finally, they got done with those. And then, like, after two or three days of peace and not having people I don't know in my apartment, um, I get another one. And it's like, somebody's entering your apartment to clean your carpets. And I talked about this a little bit on my Tuesday stream, and I was so upset. I was like, I, I clean my own carpets, you know? I have a vacuum. I use it. Um, I have animals that get really nervous when there's other people in here, especially if they're making loud noises. I have a lot of furniture in here. Um, I, I have a show that I was supposed to do. I have this that I was supposed to do yesterday. I don't want somebody, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. And, uh, but you know, they, you know, they give you the notice. The guy shows up and he's like, hello, I'm here to clean your carpets. Are you ready? And I'm like, well, I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? I don't, you know, what do you need to do in order for this to be over? And he's like, wait, you, you didn't want your carpets cleaned? I personally, no. <laughs> no no offense to your carpet cleaning skills. Um, he just looked really confused that I hadn't paid for it, um, and I hadn't asked for it. So our current thought is that management thought it would be a nice thing to do to make up for all the construction we had, but it, in my opinion, was a little misguided. <laughs> but um, he, did, he, didn't, he, did, uh, he did leave without cleaning the carpet. He was like, you know, they, I, can, I can just tell them that they look pretty clean. So he was very nice about it. I didn't actually have to have that done yesterday. He just uh, looked around and... We are good, which I'm happy about, because my poor cat has been so stressed out with all of this noise and random people in, in the apartment, so I just, you know, she, she deserves to take some, some peaceful naps. Uh, would you do an Overwatch stream ever? Would love to see you play. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, no. Uh, I am quite trash at Overwatch. I much prefer watching Overwatch to playing Overwatch. And um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna I don't have any plans at this time to play games other than WoW on screen. Or this. Uh, I hate when that happens. Um, have you ever played console? I switched from console to PC. It's quite the adjustment. Um, console like console Overwatch? I haven't played consoles before. Um, I always had a Nintendo console around. I bought like, I had a GameCube as a kid, and then when I was an adult, um, I bought a Wii, and then later a Wii U. But I don't really play with them much, honestly. Um, I, I grew up PC gaming more, and it was just always more attractive to me. Because, you know, there's WoW on the PC. <laughs> WoW is I, probably a good 70% of my gaming history. Um, nice thing about frozen fruit is it's always fresh, and if it's flash frozen, it comes out nice and not mushy. Let's see. Uh, very in What's on your shirt? It looks cute from what I can see. Yeah, this is the this is the Hearthstone cupcake shirt. 
So there is a cupcake on it with a hearthstone design at the top of it, and then what you're seeing, the, the little bubbles, are kind of like icing blotches. Pretty cute. It's from Blizzard Gear. Most of the things that I have in there are from Blizzard Gear. Zappy boy, best boy. How's the cooking stream going so far? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We made some pie dough and we put it in the fridge. That's a good start. Um, now we're going to saw some cherries in lukewarm water. So, oh man. Bowls are so loud. So, lukewarm. Just try Nintendo Switch. We thought about it. I think my husband would play it more than me, which is fine. But what am I going to play on it? Like, we have, um, we have Breath of the Wild on our, we have Breath of the Wild on our Wii U, and I played some of it, and it was really fun, but I just, I never have time. I, I don't have space in my life. There are so many things that I would like to do that I just instantly veto, because I'm already kind of spread thin. YouTube's a little bit of a time sponge in that it takes up as much time as you give it, and you kind of want to give it as much time as you have, so I end up not doing other things. Oh, console Overwatch. No, never play console Overwatch. Only ever on PC. Um, I can't imagine trying to aim with a controller. I've never played an FPS on console. Clicking things seems easier. <laughs> Finally caught a stream. Hi, welcome. Hazel, what do you recommend? The WoW Cookbook or the Hearthstone Cookbook? Depends on what you want to be cooking. Um, generally speaking, the WoW Cookbook has a much, it has a lot more recipes, so it's a better place to start. Um, but if you are more into drinks, if you are more into, like, drinks and bar food, then the Hearthstone Cookbook's going to be better. It's also a little smaller and cheaper. But the WoW Cookbook also has drinks, has desserts, has snacks, soups, entrees, breads. It's it's a really good kind of all-encompassing thing. So, we've got cherries here. This is a pound of cherries. This is a pound of cherries. I need... approximately this much cherries. It wants 20 ounces of frozen sweet dark cherries that it's got. Okay. So, these are, oh no, these are 16 ounces each. I'm gonna end up with too many cherries. I need, man, I need to waste some cherries. Oh, but I want to leave them in the bag. I don't know what to do. I need, I need to, I need to take four ounces of, uh, it's already fine, whatever. What else am I ever gonna use a bag of cherries for? Forgot Breath of the Wild was on Wii U? Yeah. Uh, what did you say? I've forgotten already. You know if there's any class changes for Death Knight and BFA? Probably. I don't know what they are. Um, almost every class is seeing at least a couple of small changes. Some of them are more than others. Uh, what's the name of your adorable cat? My cat's name is Kira, K-I-R-A. Um, however, she never ever gets called that. We call her Cat. Um, or Kitty, depending on how cute she's being at any given time. Norma isn't here yet. Should I party? A lot of cherries, baking beans to blind bake. I do have um, I do have baking beans. Um, I think I should. I, I probably should. I probably should um blind bake this just be, or pre bake this or whatever you call it, because this is like a wet pie. It doesn't ask me to in the recipe. It doesn't ask me to. I'm gonna do it anyways. So I'm gonna keep the cherries thawing. They're in a big uh, cherries are in a big bowl over there, um, and then I'll let those thaw. I'm gonna probably roll out the dough, um, put it over the pie pan, trim off the excess dough because we're gonna try and lattice on the top of it. That's gonna go terribly. And then once I have the pie, once I have the bottom ready, then I should pre-bake it. I'm thinking, what, 375 degrees for, like, what, 10 minutes? It doesn't say in here, so I don't have uh, specific directions. Can you do a mac and cheese tutorial one day? Yes! Okay, so, actually, all right, A, there is a mac and cheese recipe in the Hearthstone cookbook, but I have finally, finally, finally perfected my mac and cheese recipe, and it's actually really good now. I had a very mediocre mac and cheese for years, and every time I made mac and cheese, I tried to make it better, and I finally figured it out, so maybe I'll make a video sharing my, my recipe sometime. Oh, it took me some time though. The the flavor was easy, the consistency, that was hard. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna roll out the, the thing, put it on the plate, and I guess I should probably forget this, huh? Uh, do you cook a lot? I cook a lot because I have to eat a lot. My husband doesn't cook at all. Um, so I'm the one doing dinners and like weekend lunches and stuff. 
So I cook as much as we need to eat, but I tend to try and choose things that are as low effort as humanly possible because I'm usually like super exhausted and I don't want to get up and stop working and cook. Uh, how much is 20 ounces I use the metric system? I have no idea. Um, uh, 453 grams, apparently, according to the bag. Uh, will you be attempting a meetup at BlizzCon and maybe go for the first time this year? I'm not planning on planning anything. I've never been to BlizzCon. This is going to be my first BlizzCon as well. So my plan is to go, and then if any of you see me and you want to say hi, uh, you want you want to take a picture, um, then you can come and say hi and, and, and whatever, but I'm not planning on like a specific meetup because that sounds very scary. Uh, how is the quality of the clothing for Blizzard gear? You, typically very good, I would say. On average, like 80, 85 out of 100. Um, some things are better than others, but they're all... I've never had a thing that I wasn't happy with or a thing that I didn't wear. Um, they're, all, they're all pretty good. Mary Berry terrifies me, don't know why. She's very intimidating. You perfected eating mac and cheese, raging about mac and cheese. It's very important. Family makes baked mac and cheese with breadcrumbs in it. It's the best. Blind baking is better when you don't plan to bake the filling like cream pies. Okay. Well... I have a lot of conflicting ideas about how I'm going to do this. I guess I should start by getting out my pie pan. That would be this one. And trying to roll out the crust. I'm feeling... Like, normally I don't really mind what happens in baking streams. I just kind of do my best and then whatever happens, I eat it. But for whatever reason today, I'm feeling really self-conscious. I don't know why. I don't think anybody's expecting me to do this properly, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna mess it up and uh, I'm a little sad. All right, so that was way too much flour. Oh well. Uh, maybe the rolling pin will pick some of it up. Nope. Too much. Too much. Abort. I'm going to scrape this into a tiny mountain so that I can eat it later. Uh, Hazel gets rolled at BlizzCon. What do you mean rolled? <laughs> Please don't roll me. <laughs> I don't roll up very well. I have a lot of limbs. Oh, man. Uh, cherry pie is great. Nothing beats Dutch apple pie with a slice of 12-year-old sharp cheddar. A very specific number of years. Uh, it sounds really good, though. I've only very recently come around to the concept of apple pie with cheese. Um, I want to say that's an American thing. It wasn't something I ever ran into in Canada. Maybe it's from somewhere other than America. But I only, the first time I tried it was on this stream when we made, um, when we made the, the Mysterious Chef's Autumn Savories. It was like tiny mini apple pie things. Um, it was like mini apple pie things, but on... With, with cheese on top. And those were really weird, but they were also very good. So that was, that's about as close to that as I've ever gotten. I don't know how to do this without having it all fall apart. Mm -hmm. I guess I just try, and then if it doesn't work, I try again. So how much, how thick does it want me to roll up to? It doesn't say. So I'm just gonna assume not that thick. Uh, we're on your side. I have a spoon. Should we call the police? Thank you for sharing this part of your life with us. Thanks, Crinzy. Challenge would be fun where we try and recreate the Crazy Wow recipes and send the recipes to Hazel to try out. Oh, oh, like making more things that are in WoW um, that aren't from the cookbook. Like basically what the cookbook does, but like more of them. That might be fun. I feel like I might enjoy trying to do that after I get past, um, after I get past the point of being out of recipes. Because we will one day run out of recipes. I'm kind of shocked it hasn't happened so far. We've done a good amount of baking strings. Um, and we've had a couple of them here and there that were not wow related, but for the most part, they're pretty wow related. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to franken crush this together because this is never going to be pretty at this rate. Uh, I'm going to drape as much of this as I can, trim off what doesn't work, and then take the extra bits and try and patch up all of the cracks and holes. So this is not going to be pretty, but it might be tasty. We'll see. It also might be too thick. <laughs> we are at risk of a soggy bottom here. So that's most of the bottom. Let's say we got like 80% 80 80 of it in one go. Uh, and now we're just gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of patchwork. That's a, that, that's a wow thing. <laughs> it's not usually used in this context. 
Are you from Canada? I am, yeah. I thought you said ambulance? No. Thankfully, so far in Baking Strings, we have yet to need an ambulance. Could happen. Actually, it won't happen. <laughs> I would have to be pretty- I would, like, I feel like if I get injured to the point where I need an ambulance, I'm not gonna be able to call my own ambulance. Because if I just, like, slice- if I just, like, accidentally, like, slice a finger or something, you can just tape that right back up. I mean, I don't recommend that you guys do that. But, I'm in America, <laughs> and hospitals are expensive here. getting there. I'll show you guys when I'm done. I don't know if it's- I don't know if it's art. Let's roll it- roll it a patch piece here. I don't know if I'm gonna have much left to, um, I don't know how much I'm gonna have left in order to make the- the latticing on the top. I guess I have some amount of crust going on here. Left. Eh. I just- I wanted to go all the way up the sides. Hmm. Oh, it's also entirely possible that, um, that this is the wrong amount, because I usually do use this for a single crust pie. It usually does give me a little bit extra, but it is usually for a single crust pie, so it's entirely possible that I have made not enough of it. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. I should probably be working faster. I'm also starting to feel a little bit too lazy to get out my baking weights, my pie weights. My baking beans. My little little white baking ball things. I'm starting to feel like I don't want to do that. Like, what if I just gently stab this in the bottom? Isn't that the old-fashioned way of doing it? I don't even know where I put them. I feel like they're in a cupboard somewhere. I don't know which one. <laughs> okay. So here is a crust. It's intact. I guess I'll get out my baking weights. I think they're right here. They are right here. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, you got the wild cookbook for your birthday in March. You made the celebration cake, the dollar on brownies, and the scared peanut chicken. Everything was delicious. Love your stuff. I have yet to try a bad recipe. Or at least one that turned out poorly that wasn't my fault. So far, any recipe I've tried from this cookbook that has turned out poorly has been identifiably my fault. So, parchment in a roughly circular shape-ish. Yeah. Bunch of, bunch of these. And that oven is roughly 375 degrees. It's getting there. It's 345, but it'll catch up. Uh, I'm going to throw that in there for like, what, 12 minutes? 15? 10? 13. That's not unlucky at all. Uh, someone stitches my family just uses super glue and calls it a day. Oh, super glue. I don't know about that. Like, I've heard of people using that, but. Oh, glue. Glue. Glue frightens me. <laughs> glue anywhere near the blood thing. You should have floured the rolling thing. I did flower the rolling thing. Uh, as a pastry chef, I would like to give you some lessons on dough making. <laughs> you didn't think it was pretty? <laughs> Um, what if we just make, instead of, um, latticing, what if we just make, like, a big heart? Or, uh, I mean, I would make a cherry, but we all know that's not gonna happen. I should start in the filling. I should worry about this later. I'm gonna put this hot mess over here to worry about later, and I'm gonna make the filling. This is probably good. Alright, so those are actually thought great. That was a great idea. Good job, dudes. Uh, stats question, you know what'll happen to old content like Legacy Braids and Dungeons? I made a video testing those out. Um, short version of it is that you can still run them, it's harder as of right now, but they have yet to finish tuning the stat squish, so I wouldn't worry about it. Alright. Oh. Uh, strain the cherries, reserving any extra juice. Strain the cherries. Should I put them in, like, that pasta colander? Strain the cherries. Do I squish them? What does that mean? I have... <laughs> I have like, I mean, I can I can use pasta colander and bowl. Will that work? That looks like it might work. I don't see why not. We're learning here. Uh, reserve any extra juice. If you don't get much juice from them, you can supplement with extra juice. 
Um, and then the note says you can also supplement with extra wine, so I did buy some cheap box wine for this. Um, and also for me. <laughs> so that I can supplement, because we need to get a cup of juice. So I guess I'm just going to strain some cherries. Okay. Um, actually, let's make sure while we're doing... Uh, while we're doing this, let's wait so that we can make sure that we've got roughly 16 ounces of cherries. Because I've definitely defrosted too many cherries over here. I finally made one of these. Hey, Hazel, hello, how are you doing? Blue is why I had to strip color out, stick to purple if you like purple. That's kind of my plan. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright. So, we'll set that down. I'm going to put 16 ounces of cherries in there. I don't see why not. So, we'll start with one bag. I have a thing that I could tear to open, but that it's too late. I do this thing when I'm like serving chips from the bottom of a bag, where instead of just like pouring them out of the bottom of the bag, I get so upset with the whole concept that I just slice off. I just take scissors and I cut off most of the bag. All right, so that's actually 17 ounces of cherries, despite the fact that oh no, I need 20 ounces of cherries. Okay, I need 20 ounces. So that was 17 and a half ounces, and then. Uh, I don't know if I need 20 ounces of cherries before or after I get rid of the juice. I guess it was on the ingredients list, I'm assuming before. We can kind of round up a little bit. That's about 20 ounces of cherries. I don't know what to do with these ones. Maybe I'll serve them with it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to uh, close this up and put it in the fridge, I suppose. Uh, I should not have sliced this bag in half because I need to put it away now. That was a poor idea. <sighs> Acorn-shaped strained cherries doesn't mean to drain the juice into another vessel. Okay, so we're doing good, right? Uh, what camera are you using on this stream? This is my new camera. This is a Sony RX100 Mark V set up with an Elgato cam link. And that's why the audio is kind of terrible, because it was a pick one situation. So these are going to go back in the fridge, because I think refreezing things that you thought is bad, but mom told me that once. How on earth are you supposed to get a cup of liquid out of here? That's like two tablespoons of liquid. Oh, I think that they're still a little bit frozen. That's a cold cherry. Um, you prefer to drink box wine straight from the box? I'm a total wine mom game box wine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not particularly ashamed. Um, I, like, if I'm drinking, uh, and I'm just drinking casually, first choice is cider, but, um, second choice is cheap wine, because I've had expensive wine and it wasn't any better to me. I don't have a very distinguished palate. I'm not very fancy. <laughs> so I can get, a, I can get on board with box wine. I prefer cider. And then if we're, like, drinking, then I'll start mixing drinks, but... I'm not very fancy when I do that either. <laughs> I do enjoy whiskey, actually. I do enjoy whiskey quite a lot, but I don't know enough about it to actually buy it, and it's kind of expensive anyways. Uh, it was pretty when you add liquid to the dry need it. It was pretty when you add... Oh no, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, just, I was just giving a hard time. Extra juice, Hazel 2018. Uh, classy, definition of class. Mm. Better for the wine, keeps away from light and oxidation. Meet up with Bellular, you can tell you what you're going to bake by the beta patch notes. Oh gosh, alright, um, you guys have any idea on how I can make these cherries strain better, or is that like the end of it? I'm really tempted to microwave them, is that a terrible idea? Is that just the worst idea I've ever had? Because some of them are still frozen. What if we just microwave them a little bit? What if we just do like, like a little bit? What do you guys think? Huh. After we've done this, um, we're going to, I guess I can already, I can start mixing together like the sugar and the spices and stuff. My legion tits? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I started reading some comments from that. I do know about the portal in the bottom of the Vindicar. I just phrased that statement about portaling back kind of oddly. Um, you guys have seen me use that portal in my stream, but it was, uh, it was, it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, Jack Daniels. I don't see why 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20% power. YOLO. All right. I'm, I'm agreeing with the yellow here. So I need to take it out of the plastic. Probably put it in this one. Like, this one's microwavable. I won't do it for very long. Um, although, some of the juice is going to come out in this thing. Then. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we will improvise. 15. Because there's, like, a lot of juice. All right, so I need to get a bowl. I need to mix together three quarters of a cup of sugar uh, with... Uh, two ta three tablespoons of cornstarch and then some cinnamon cardamom ginger. So I'm gonna get those things out at least. So, still kind of frozen. A little bit more. So, bowl. I have 
had a bowl. I'm going through a lot of bowl lately. This is easily the most bowl intensive thing I've ever tempted to create. Alright, that's better. That is better. So I'm going to put this back here. I didn't actually de juice all that much. They are dripping a bit. I'll let them drip. I'm gonna get cooked anyways when you bake it. Hope they don't explode. Microwaving them for a little bit would be okay, only for a little bit though. No one knew ahead of time to take cherries out for a few hours so they could defrost. <laughs> yeah, I have had a busy day. I've I have actually been doing the thing that okay, so sugar. Sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger. Besides, I wouldn't want to deprive you guys of a magical baking stream moment, you know. Doing things off camera is cheating. <laughs> Uh, I'm not just eating something off camera because it's going to take an hour to bake. Sugar. So we got cardamom. Do I need cloves? Is that on the list? No cloves. Okay. Cardamom, ginger. Cardamom, ginger, sugar. Cinnamon. 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 Ginger. Cornstarch. That's baking powder. Uh, I do have cornstarch somewhere. The question is where? I checked. I definitely checked. Wow. I have so much. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Uh, I made it. Hey, Darma. Uh, baking tends to use all the bowls for everything. Don't pop cherries. I stopped baking because I got bored, hated the mess, and flour doesn't like water one bit. Yeah. Ba that always happens to me when I'm baking bread. I am incapable of making bread without covering the counter in, like, the most difficult to remove substance known to mankind. And, like, I always dry scrape the counter before. I dry scrape the counter before I try and, um, spray it down. I always get as much flour off as possible. But I always end up having to just, like, scour the thing. Just to just to fix it. All right. So we're gonna need to we're gonna need more sugar. I might just take it right out of this thing and then I'll refill that one later in my life. Three quarters of a cup. One, two. I'm looking forward to there being potentially a time in this recipe where I get to sit down and chat with you guys because I'm starting to get a little a little lightheaded. I kind of keep changing my words. Yo, mine does that too. I'm always um. If I'm like sitting on the couch watching Overwatch League, I usually have my iPad with me and I'll be like chatting on Discord on my iPad. And autocorrect just ruins me. It doesn't know how to say anything. Ugh. I think I can turn it off, but I also kind of need it because I'm not a very accurate typist on my iPad. Okay, so sugar, how much other stuff are we using? Two teaspoons of cinnamon, three tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm sort of this. Where'd my spoons go? There they are. I don't bake because reasons, but I like baking. I don't feel like it's baking if you don't have a flour catastrophe. All the flour. I don't bake because my minion bakes for me. You, you've got, you've got, you've got a, you've got a good minion. That is a useful, that is a useful thing to have around. I, uh, I think I am pretty incapable of baking without getting flour handprints on my own butt. Like, I'm always, I'm always resting my hands on my butt for whatever reason, and they're usually flowery, and then I get flour on my butt. Uh, uh, two tablespoons? Three tablespoons. Glad I caught one of your streams. Welcome, Crimson Ent Entity. We're attempting to make cherry pie today. We haven't had that many good yet. One. Two. And... And then two tablespoons, two teaspoons of cinnamon. See, I'm really undecided about whether I should just keep doing baking streams like this and wait on doing the new computer, or if I should just pull the trigger now, regret it later, and at least get my stuff upgraded. I don't know. How many classes have you gotten to 110 so far? That's a good question. Um, I have quite a few that I've gotten to 110 just for some specific, like a pet or something, and then never played again. So, um, let's see, I have two priests, 
and then a rogue and a death knight and a druid. Priest, rogue, death knight, druid, monk. That might be it. That might be it at 110. I have a lot more. I have everything at 100 at least. Uh, half a teaspoon of cardamom, half a teaspoon of ginger. Flower butt, hazel 2018, pie. Pretty sure. Keep the baking stream. Oh no, I'm gonna keep baking streaming. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing them. It's just a question of whether I keep doing them like this with this sound for a while. Or, you know, we can just roll back to the other camera and do them the same way we've been doing them. That is that is an option. This doesn't actually even look- oh, you know why this doesn't look better? I didn't bring my lights in. It doesn't look poorly lit right now, but it definitely, um, it definitely gets sharper when you have it properly lit. Oh, man. I did- I- I got- I did my whole makeup. My whole makeup. I did, I did my makeup and I got dressed and I got um, like the monitor set up and I think it was six and a half minutes before the stream started and I completely forgot to do the lights. All right, so that's cinnamon and then half teaspoon of cardamom, almost there. North Rim is more fun. You get a shaman. They have a special. Oh no, I did do the shaman then. Yeah, because I. Oh no, I didn't do the shaman do on one ten. I have the shaman high enough to get the pet from the order hall because I have all of the order hall pets. I have Snowfang. I just didn't finish leveling it, because you don't need to be one time to get something. I need me that big thing of cinnamon. Costco. Costco. Although, honestly, eh, I guess I'm halfway through it, but we bought this years ago. It's probably not good anymore. <laughs> it still tastes like cinnamon. I don't really know what else you want. Okay, so let's get some things off of the stove and then get the pre-baked pie crust out of there. Think of the same thing. Sounds fine. Sounds fine. I'll, yeah, I'll, after the stream is over, I'll check the audio for this part and see if I can live like this. Because at least this, I'm not plugged in right now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty legit. I can, I can get on board with that. If this is as good or, or like a little bit worse than the clip on mic I was using, then I'll keep it. Okay. Uh, no wires. Doesn't cause regret later. Yeah. The other reason for wanting to do the PC is because that lets me bump up the resolution that I record and edit and publish in on my other computer. Because basically I'd be just getting a really good computer for my desk setup and then moving the one that I currently have in here. And I wanted to do that before, um, before I make the new set of raid guides, but I think it just might have to wait another tier. I think it. I think I'm just gonna have to have one more set of 1080 raid guides, which I know is fine. It just means that when I zoom really far in something, it's gonna be kind of blurry. I know that's not really a five thousand dollar compromise. I'm just. I spend all day here talking to myself, and sometimes I can get in my own head. <laughs> all right. Uh, what am I doing? I'm mixing these things up. I've lost my whisk. Actually, I think it's in the dishwasher. I can do it. Oh, I don't like that sound at all. Uh, questing so much easier with frost. 68 to 80 is pretty fun for you. I didn't, I didn't enjoy 68 through 80 very much. I mean, I had a good time getting, doing archaeology to get through it, but that was about it. No. That's. Be more careful playing while I was at watch. I just started a mission that only has a 58% chance of success. Oh, man. The, the distraction strikes. Some things in WoW, well, not fluffy missions, but there's some things that I definitely have to turn everything else off if I want to get done properly or get done in a reasonable amount of time. Do we have anywhere close to a cup of cherry juice yet? Because I want to say that we don't. I have a tiny, tiny amount of cherry juice, like probably like two tablespoons. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that into a liquid measure, which is in my dishwasher. It is clean, it's going to be a little bit warm or hot. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Ah, what? Ooh. It's hot. I guess I shouldn't put the cherry juice in there because it's going to like boil it. <laughs> Let's give that a minute to cool off. But yeah, no, I know that's not a cup. We need to supplement the rest of it with wine. It just might be a wine-heavy pie. <laughs> this might be a slightly alcoholic pie. Um, book. 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 Ah, uh, book. So basically, we're just gonna add the cherries and the juice to that thing. Or I'll probably just put them all in this bowl. Make sure it's evenly mixed, put it in the pie shell, and then put the crust on top. We're actually getting pretty close to being done, surprisingly enough. Let's, um... Let's, while I wait for this thing to cool off a little bit, it doesn't need to be cold, it just needs to be less hot than that. Um, let's 
figure out what poor thing we're going to do with the rest of this pie dough to go on top, because I do not have enough leftover dough. I have about this much like a handful. I don't think we can do latticing. I can probably make a like an emblem or like a design. Or like a, a blob. I can probably make a blob. Um, um, oh, I might have a cookie cutter somewhere. Oh, don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. Okay. Well, I've made a flat blob now. Um, I can make it into a star. I can make it into a Star Wars thing, but that's not going to show up. Uh, I have Hello Kitty. Hashtag not sponsored. <sighs> I think I'm going to go with the star, because I think this is the least likely to get completely m melted. Close the cupboard. <laughs> I live my whole life like that. Like, I, I, I'll... When I'm done, I, I'll wash dishes and I'll wipe the counters and I'll sweep the floor. But I don't close cupboards. I don't. I leave cupboards and drawers open, and it drives people nuts. And I kind of understand that. It's just I don't usually see it. I'm not usually looking. All right. Well, there's a there's there's a star. Maybe I can get a maybe I can get another one. Maybe we can make this a two star pie. <laughs> Anyways. Um. So I'm gonna. Actually, how much does a cup of liquid? How much does a cup of juice supposed to weigh? Like approximately. Uh. Oh, I guess there's no way for me to do that. Okay. Let's, um, let's pour this in here. Ah, I'm dripping. Oh, no, 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 Oh, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, make balls. They will spread when they cook. I also need to buy coasters. You're buying a Visa mount. Oh, you need to put your TV over a monitor. I had a Visa mount field day yesterday. Can you make it gluten-free? I can't eat gluten. Uh, also need to buy coasters. I have them. Um, I don't have them for sale, but I actually have a Hazel Nutty coaster. I have um, the uh, sponsor icon on a coaster. It's on my windowsill right now. I ordered them when I ordered the magnets. <sighs> Alright, so that's... I probably have like an eighth of a cup there, so I guess I'm just going to supplement the rest of it with wine. We'll find out if it's any good. Uh, I, I don't have any other kind of juice either, so... We're, we're, we're gonna take our boxed wine and um, figure this out. I haven't opened this yet. I'm really bad at doing this. Uh. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me, that frightened me. Alright, so that's, that's that. How do I get it out? Ow! Ow! Did it. It definitely says open here. Hello? Hello? Mr. Spout? No, you're not there. Isn't there supposed to be a spout here? There's more perforation to make a bigger indent. I just, I can't, you can't use like scissors or anything because you'll puncture the bag. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this. Cherry juice depends on the liquid, weight's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. I figured, and I figured it would be different for, for wine and for juice, so it probably can't weigh it out that way. We're good. Okay. Is there, there, where is the, oh, there it is. There we go. Wow, that, that, that was, that took some doing. Uh, okay. I don't know how to open this. I'm about to make a huge mess. <laughs> I've never actually done this myself before. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's like a faucet. Oh, this one's different. Okay, so I need a cup. All right. That worked better than expected. I didn't make, I didn't spill wine. I mean, I spilled juice everywhere, but one thing at a time. Okay. bowl and we are mixing together I think just all of this and then we put it in here these 
go back into their box. Approximately. That's pre-baked. Um, this is going to bake at 400. That's good. Mix together sugars. Stir it all together. Make sure it's evenly mixed. Okay. So I'm just going to go cherries. Uh, sugar and spices. Juice and wine. Sure. This is weird. This is a weird, very wet, sloshy thing. I watch your video forever. Even pouring it sounds classy. You should do voice acting after hearing that. After hearing what? The box of preparations? That was a mighty, mighty war cry. Nothing tastes like depression and desperation. I hope this isn't a depression cherry pie. Uh, tastes best with salty tears. Wine ASMR. Oh man, someone else is as coordinated as I am. Okay. All right, well this is at least a mix. So this goes in here. Oh dear, that sound. Oh, that was a lot of, eh, we're good, we're good. Any more cherries would have been a mistake. That was the correct amount of cherries. And then I'm gonna take my, our star, throw that in the middle. And then, um, he said, you said like splotches will like splotch out. Uh, I'm gonna try and cut some like little, little rectangles to make like a little dotted line around, around the periphery. Is that a bad idea? Let me see. This isn't going to be very accurate, but like, if, if I make like a little rectangle here, this is kind of starting to look like I think a flower logo. And there, and then here, I'll, I'll swoop the camera over so that you guys can see before I stick it in the oven. And then uh, this is going to take a while to bake. I guess I'll check the time and see how 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 badly I wanna I wanna sit here and wait like the forty minutes it's gonna be. Uh, okay. So it's not latticing, but see how much. I'm not gonna be able to take you guys all the way over. I think that's about as far as we can go. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh no, I can't zoom in in video mode. Oh, I think I'm adjusting the ISO. That's bad. <laughs> Oops. Uh, all right. Well, it's a pie. I'm gonna put it on a tray, just because that's going to spill, and uh, that will make my life easier for the lighter. So, let's pop this. Also, it'll make it easier for me to put it in. Oh, that's kind of hot. Uh, is this our cooking daily? <laughs> oh, man. It, it smells good. It doesn't look that bad, honestly. It doesn't look that bad. For how difficult I feel like we've had a time of this, I think it looks okay. Alright, let's see. Throw that in there. And that stays in for... I've lost my book again. Come back! 40 minutes until the crust is a rich golden color. That actually looks good, actually looks good. You guys sound as surprised as I feel. Uh, miss that you play Horde and Rainer EU. Um, don't get terribly excited yet. I'm planning on transferring. The auction house situation has been very bad. Industrial grade oven mitts? Yeah, yeah, they're... I think they're just all... Sorry. I don't think anybody's living downstairs yet. I think our downstairs neighbor moved out, and I don't think anybody knew it was in there, so... Hopefully nobody ever has to know. But yeah. Um, they are rubber, so that when they get wet, they are still heat resistant. They cl they're really fun to smack and clap. And uh, they're long, so that if you're like going way into the oven, you don't have to worry about br uh, burning your wrists. Where is our kitchen disaster? Is this even really hazel? I mean, well, we'll see when it comes out. Is it hard to live away from Canada and your relatives? Yeah. Um, I mean, our family's always been quite independent, so we don't really rely on each other for uh, services or anything. Um, but I do miss being close to them, and I miss like. I miss spending time with them. I get, like, we FaceTime, and it's nice, but I haven't been able to go back to Canada since my sister's wedding, like, over a year ago, and, uh, and that was once in, like, three, three, four years. It's been a long time. Uh, can we see the recipe, Katie? Sure, I'll show you the picture. He lives in Oregon. It's basically Canada. Yeah. Culture-wise, very similar here, and honestly, I don't think where I live, I mean, I really love the Pacific Northwest, but 
I don't know how important where I live is to me because I most like WoW is the same anywhere as long as you have internet. Our internet is better here. I would have a hard time going back to Canadian internet speeds. That would be rough. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, obviously, ours has um, a, a star on top of it instead of lattice, but we'll see. Uh, need to wait 16 hours to get my class event on three characters. Oh, sorry for the personal question. Oh, no worries. You guys can ask whatever. If I don't want to answer it, I just won't. I don't, don't, don't worry about it. So that's got like 38 minutes. I feel like, oh, 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 that's dough. There is dough in my room. The pan likes to make noise. Oh, what time is it? It's, uh, it's 400 degrees. It's, uh, three o'clock. Okay. Ah, oh, been an hour. I think I'm gonna clean up, um, and turn off the stream, and then when it is done, I know I said I would do this on the same day last time, and I didn't, but I will try my very best to post some pictures tonight. So keep an eye on my Twitter for pictures of how it actually turns out. I will let you know. Um, and then tomorrow is Friday, so I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. I'll make the vlog tomorrow. Um, you can ask me about it on stream. Maybe I'll eat some on stream. Um, and, uh, until then, I expected a chill baking stream. Not a reminder that I live a three-hour flight away from my family. Oh, no. Oh, man. Snowfang, um, you need a shaman character. In the Order Hall, there is a pet battle that you can do. And you capture him through that pet battle. I think that's about it. Um, if not, if that, if that's not it, then check the Wowhead Guide. But that's as far as I know it. <sighs> but thanks for watching. Thank you for being patient through our difficulties. I will keep you posted on when the next baking streams are going to be in May. And, and unless I figure something else out, they're probably going to be like this as far as sound and camera, unless I go back and watch this VOD and hate it and decide to revert, but we'll see. Thanks, guys. I... I'm gonna clean up now.